Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another dressage vlog which I'll be honest the last one didn't go down that that well and I realised that it is quite quick concession the event same weekend have we got a fly spritey where is it you are shaking your tail or is it gone um oh yes I am on spritey at the minute because she has just been my guinea pig of going through the test now Miss Lola and I did go through the test we're riding this evening on Monday but I couldn't I don't know why I kept making mistakes in them so it's been a little bit in my head and i thought i want to school sprite today so she can school through the tests so it's actually worked out pretty well and i was a little bit shorter of time today because my warm-up time for my first test is at six o'clock so good old spritey's just been my little guinea pig and i've managed to go through the tests the first one i've gone through twice without any mistakes and the second test once without any mistakes so i'm feeling better now i am aware that we obviously did a dressage vlog not so long ago but i wanted to do another one almost for myself as well to be able to see and compare between our last outing in dressage so we're doing again two novice tests and I'm hoping that the training and every all the work that I've put in recently, we've also gone to our first proper eventing event. We've so we've done another dressage test since then, and that was our first proper show back out last time. So hopefully we are gonna be more relaxed. I'm aware of what I'm aware of what warm-up I want to do, and yeah, just be we've had some lessons and yeah, just feeling fingers crossed more positive maybe i'm putting pressure on myself who knows but it is just a nice friendly atmosphere evening held again by cornwall trek over at chiverton park so this is spritey's ride all done for today and now time to get miss lola ready we had a lot of rain i took their rugs off this morning and i'm sure that miss lola <laughs> she's just saying hello has rolled and is rather muddy so let's see what state she's in well you're not too, you look very sleepy. It's a bit warm today, isn't it? You look pretty good this size. Um, not too bad. Not too, too bad. Nothing, a bit of grooming spray won't fix up, eh, Miss Lula? No. Spritey's been washed off. Oh, also nice. <gasps> They've got their names up on the wall. I only had them three, yeah, three years. <laughs> but they're finally up, aren't they, Sprite D? Yeah! You're a good girl. Feed room and tech room has all been organised and I am loving it. As well as, obviously, the names. Eek! Your name's on the wall! And I got you your favourite tummy tweet. Oh, you can have another one because you were so good. So, so good. And you get one just because I feel guilty giving one one and not the other. <laughs> Good girl. Right, let's get you clean. Are you still starving? Are you starving? Time to get you ready. Oh, this dress is so much easier to get ready for. Not gonna lie, just maybe that. There's me doing my leg stretches, swinging my legs out, especially after today because I may have done my first 10k, which I'm slightly buzzing, buzz, buzz, buzzing about. And then in the corner here, we're at the end of the trailer we've got Miss Lola trying to pick up every single strand of hay possible. All I can hear is uh, trying to capture it all. So our first test, novice 28, as like any test, the judge had just rang the bell and I thought I'll do one more circle before going in. And I just wanted to get nice, tight, close to these boards. <laughs> and then that happened. I think her foot touched it and the surface must have touched the board and it just spooked her a little bit. But very thankful she settled really quickly, which is really good for Lola actually. And we headed down the center line for a very straight 
bouncy expression center line absolutely chuffed with that center line scoring us an eight then we just turned right and we headed all the way down the long side back up to a and she just looks lovely bouncy like twinkle toes basically um she's a little bit there against my hand but nothing major and we then start on to a serpentine so for that long side we scored a 7.5 and then unfortunately this is where the b marker <laughs> becomes a bit of a spooky marker not sure why maybe it was the light coming through the trees and it was just landing on that marker there a little bit strange not quite sure but we did lose a bit of marks on that for a 6.5 then picking up canter and straight onto a 20 meter circle at B, where we scored a seven, and the judge said we had fair balance. Now I'm really pleased with her frame, and I also noticed that she went past B quite well there, but I don't think it felt like she went past like that. I think I was using a lot of inside leg. But she looks in a pleasing frame, as the judge has marked, especially around here. So this has got quite a lot of canter for us but we scored a 7.5 for all the way around the arena. Then we do a half 15 meter circle back across the diagonal to come back to trot at K where she just got a little bit muddled on that transition down, unfortunately, scoring us then a 6.5. We start on a, another serpentine and I don't know why, but I think tension just sort of started creeping in after that first canter. Um, not massively, but just ever so slightly. And for our serpent time, we scored a seven. And then again, picking up canter in that corner. A little bit of a delayed reaction to my canter aid. But then onto another 20 meter circle. Again, she's still got a nice frame. Again, the judge just marked and said that we had slightly against the hand at B, that B marker, getting in there again, but we still scored a seven. And then again, all the way down and around the short side and down the opposite long side. She's staying nice and straight. The B marker there, again, just causing us a little bit of tension and a little bit of a spook. Another half 15 meter circle and onto the diagonal. Now this is something that we are practicing quite a lot in all our warm up. So I'm sure and confident that one day we are gonna absolutely smash this. But we scored a seven. I'm sure we're gonna get an eight one day. And then we scored a 6.5 for our downward transition, which I didn't think was too bad, to be honest. But we did seem quite rushed around that short side. And then across the diagonal, for our medium trot, which again, we scored 6.5, just stating that Lola is a bit tight over her back. And again, we are practicing that so we can only improve and get better. Then for our transition to walk, we scored a seven. I'm a little bit behind the pace here. Um, and then onto a free walk on a long rain. Now she needed to stretch down more, which is a shame because she does usually, She's got good over track, but just not taking that rain forward and down. So scored us actually a six, our worst, our worst mark of the test. And then around here and turning onto the center line, which I thought the turn was good, but we just looked like we undercutted the turn ever so slightly. And then down to X to halt. And for all of this, we scored a 7.5. Straight, halted slightly wide behind, but I think otherwise she was pretty square. Not that we're far from the trailer, but I just thought I haven't got poo bags again. <laughs> but there are there are some in the car. Anyways, not that you needed to know that. First test complete, wasn't it, Miss Lola? Yeah. First test done. Still a little bit tense and spooking a little bit. At the marker B, I've literally no idea why. Um, but every time we came round, and then when I finished my test, I thought, oh, I'll take her over there and I'll pop her up to it. And she put her mouth straight on it. So, no idea what that's about. But overall, I've just sat and watched the test and just think I need to almost relax my body a little bit and not be so 
I feel like I look quite rigid, so I need to relax myself. We're gonna do a bit more counter canter in our warm up next time, just to try and basically make a supple all the way through a body, a bit like what we did in our lesson with Fred last week, and I've been trying to do in our schooling sessions, getting tangled up by Nala. But yeah, overall, really, really pleased. Much better than our first test two weeks ago, wasn't it, Lola? So I now need to sit down and read Novice 34. And hopefully, I'll be able to remember two novice tests again. Fingers crossed. On to our second test of the evening, novice 34. Now, this test at C, we turned left, so you'll see that I'm coming in on the right rein because I like to always come in on the opposite. Now, if I'm honest, I don't think my turn onto the centre line was... I don't think I came out wide enough, but we ended up coming in at A where we should have and we had a very another very straight center line she's looking lovely forward going and the judge scored us a 7.5 we then come on to e where we do a 20 meter circle now this has got quite a lot in this one like one movement so you've got to do a circle and then in a second you'll see at k we do a half circle left 10 meters as well now all around she's much better past the b marker and I think that she's looking fairly straight around, coming back onto the track, quarters aren't in, which is good. And here's our half 10, hitting the center line nicely and then proceeding on that diagonal. So we scored another 7.5 for that and the judge said it was well balanced. Hitting the track back at H and we come back around to the other side of the arena for a circle again 20 meters again not having a look at that b marker which was nice and again i think that she's got a nice frame she looks like she's stepping up and underneath and through and looking pretty relaxed so we scored another 7.5 nice and straight down there and again this is all in one movement so another half 10 boom maybe ever so slightly short of the center line but i do think that her who's probably on the left <laughs> touched it and then back on the diagonal and around for a walk transition at c which i thought was very nicely done oh but we scored from c it says medium walk 6.5 connected transition but lacking purpose in the walk okay understand that so nice transition <laughs> like i thought but yeah we're just not really traveling through enough on that walk and then when you get to x you allow the horse to stretch down and again miss lola just isn't wanting to take the rein forward and down but we have been working on that since doing this test and I've been learning to ride much more with my legs on. She really doesn't want to stretch there at all. And you're meant to be doing free walk all the way around to K and then K back to medium walk. So there is a change in her pace, in her stride, but not anything in her neck. And yeah, could stretch more, 6.5. Then into working trot, which we got a seven four, and into canter. Now this is where we go for a very bold medium. <laughs> and there you can just see she goes disunited. We get it back fairly quickly and then onto a half 20 meter circle. So we did go down to a four for the medium and then this half circle with a trot transition over X for another half circle. We then scored a five because the trot wasn't clear. She really didn't want to come back to me. And then around here for another medium canter. And this time I didn't quite apply so much leg. I think the first one I thought I was on like a top dressage horse or something. And I need to learn to use my seat more and not, and not on my hands through these transitions between the medium and working. And again there, she just didn't really want to trot quite a lot of tension. Um, so our, first, our second medium canter, we got 6.5. Then we got another 6.5 for the transition. It needs to be more relaxed through transition, which I totally agree with. And then we're here doing some medium trot strides and she's just very tense and tight there. So not really showing, showing much at all. 
and scored a six. Our beautiful test that started off at the beginning is slowly uh, getting worse. And then we come around for another straight away, another diagonal of medium trot. And again, she's just not really, yeah, the judge put needs more ground cover, scoring us another six. And then we trot around the short side up to B, where we then allow, or I then allow Lola to stretch in the trot, which she definitely stretches down much more in the trot than she was in the walk. And I think her head carriage is nice for what it, it should be. But the judge said that we need more swing to score an eight, so we scored a seven for that. And then down to turn onto the center line. And there you can just see she pings out her quarters to the left there, but then she remains straight. So we scored a seven for the turn and then walking down to our halt and it was fairly square for another seven. Miss Lila, you've ate everything that's on the floor. I can't believe that you're still currently hungry, to be honest with you. You have ate so much, but she was very good in the second test. Very, very good. Just sorted her around before debriefing the second test. Look at the state of me. Um, yeah, very good. I think I kicked on a little bit too much for the first medium canter which did make her go a little bit like woohoo and then to get her back to me she went very against my hand I think we then went we changed legs and yeah just went a bit tense so that isn't going to be the best of marks probably down to a, a four I would have thought but then I made sure that on the second canter with the medium strides I didn't kick on quite as much I do think that our beginning trot work was really nice I'm scared I'm gonna attempt to fate by saying that because I haven't obviously seen the test sheet yet and I haven't even watched it back so I'm going with my feel felt like it was really nice at the beginning so fingers crossed the scores and what and I watch it back reflects that and I'm not totally imagining something different Miss Lola is very much enjoying her munch Nala is in the car ready to go. The car is all packed up. We're just waiting for our second sheet. And you may have noticed there that we've got first place in the first test. Really, really chuffed. So for our first test in Novice 28, we scored 71.04% and took the win. The classes aren't a huge amount. I don't actually know how many was in that class. And I think we were all, I haven't really looked at the results, but they're all online. So I may have a little nosy in a minute, but I don't think there was many marks between the placings at all if like maybe a couple three max lola's a bit lola's very proud of herself aren't you are you what are you seeing <laughs> hi <laughs> you're a good girlie haven't told you that you've got a lesson tomorrow as well and then we've got pontus ball in two days three days time on saturday you are gonna be tired i promise you Ooh, bank oh, bank! Oh, have we got an it? Oh, don't itch on my face. Oh, Lola slobber, lovely. Um, <laughs> are you coming back for another? Actually, when I put this jumper on, you got a proper itch. There are like gnats out. There we go. Uh, excuse me. That's your rosette. Two treats fell out my pocket. One Miss Nala had and had it very quickly. Oh, you've itchy. Oh yeah, she says, Mama, you scratch, you get a scratch. And look, cherry treat. Very well deserved. Very well deserved, you good girlie. You're so good. 
we pop you in if you had enough grass and then we will be ready to go once we've got our second test sheet and we'll see uh, how we get on in that the next class is a picker test so there will be all different tests in the class but i am hoping i don't know i don't know whether that four that we're going to get is going to mark us down are we going to beat 71 lola novice 34 it's harder as well it's a higher number uh hello you can get in now yeah is it going to beat that predictions now oh i don't know we had an eight at the beginning of that test for our truck work on our entry and i think the rest of our truck work on the circle and all was very nice so i'm gonna say it's gonna be the same <laughs> oh, i'm gonna be disappointed if it's not i'm gonna say that it's gonna be the same it's gonna be the same it's gonna be about 71 percent. 70 71 oh no with that four i don't know ah, so difficult and i haven't actually watched it McDonald's drive-through. We're probably all going to get our test sheets through the door. We've all decided to go this way because uh, the field is a bit wet. <laughs> I'm just having a bit of a closer look at this. And for Canter, Canter, we had a 7.5 and pleasing frame, which I know I shouldn't be so over the moon about, but I am and it shows that the work I'm doing for the canter is working. And we got consistently, we got seven, oh, muddled at K, 6.5 for that, but consistently got sevens really for our canter. <laughs> oh, and now to get those sevens to eight, but no. In a novice test as well, like usually I reckon that Lola would be more like a six, six and a half. So yeah, I'm really pleased. Oh, this will be after, so I probably won't have time to say this at the end of a voiceover. I always find I can't say the judge's comments, but the judge said a well-balanced and consistent test. Well done. Horse needs to settle into contact and maintain relaxation and walk for higher marks there, which I totally and utterly agree with. I feel like it's a McDonald's oh drive-through. Like yes, amazing <laughs> fact. I know, I've got McDonald's in my head now. Now I'm like, all I can do is eat a burger. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, maybe the second test wasn't better and it's not how I thought. 67.14. We got a four for our uh, medium. Bold medium, but then disunited pity. <laughs> Some beautiful trot work. Okay, so maybe not all bad. Maybe not all bad. I knew I should have tried to guess the score. One either jinx it or... Anyways, right, we'll read this when we get home. Because we are obviously leaving and we've got the queue behind us as everybody else is picking up their tests. Yeah. <gasps> I'm going away smiling. How funny, last time that we did this, we had our second test was better than our first. And now our... Oh, I should have gone up on the grass. Sorry, Lola, it's going to be a bit bumpy. Um, and then our second test this time has been our worst. The hang -ho. still pretty good. 67 and 71% for two novice tests. Boom. Better average than last time. So, yeah. Well done, Miss Lola. And just like that, we're home. Shall we now, the kids? Yeah. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you are. Right, you can run around now. Get rid of some extra energy. Boo, boo, boo. And Miss Lola, time to give them the tea. And actually, I wonder if it should be okay. Just wanted to read these comments because I never, as I say, I don't have time at the end of reading it when I do the voiceover. So I just wanted to say ah, some beautiful trot work, some bleh. 
some beautiful trot work, then lost the connection somewhat in canter to become disunited and a little tense, which was totally my own fault. I rode that medium canter way too much. I didn't need to kick on quite so much, but we can practice that in our schooling, that's for sure. Now needs to relax further to retain the fluency through transitions and medium steps. Very, very fair comments and totally agree but to come home with a 71 and a 67 percent in novice test i am very very pleased with you miss lola very pleased today has been a good day the sun's been out i smashed a 10k which i'm not gonna lie it's about quarter past nine and i am hungry and dying to get into my bed but it's been a very good day and i'm finishing the day smiling are we smiling oh yeah <laughs> You were so good. So good. And I hope you guys have enjoyed following us on another dressage outing. I know the dressage ones may not be as entertaining as, say, event ones or jumping ones. But I find that they really help me doing the voiceover and talking through the tests and areas to work on. And, I mean, we have improved from our last outing. So very, very chuffed. Super chuffed. Um, roll on another four weeks and we'll be doing the same again careful yeah but for now time to give you oh doesn't that sky look beautiful looks beautiful doesn't it lola oh hello nana go on then off you go off you go of now time to give these ponies their dinner and pop them out in the field see you all soon bye